Thank you for turning to page 121. Today we're going to take a deep dive into the monster manual. And we're going to look at this guy right here. A troll. Yes. The sphincter loosening power of the troll. These guys used to strike fear into everybody. There we go. So a troll. Frequency is uncommon. Number appearing 1 to 12. That's scary. AC 4. 6 plus 6 hit dice. 3 attacks. Also scary. 5 to 8, 5 to 8, 2 to 12. You get 5 to 8 by throwing a 4-sider and adding 4 to it. And special attacks, see below. Special defense is regeneration. Magic resistance standard. Low intelligence, chaotic evil, and they're large. Trolls are horrid car carnivores found in nearly every climb. They are feared by most creatures, as a troll knows no fear and attacks unceasingly. Their sense of smell is very acute, and their infravision is superior. It's 90 feet. And their strength is very great. A troll attacks with clawed forelimbs and its great teeth. A troll is able to fight three different opponents at once. That's a huge deal. Three melee rounds after being damaged, the troll will begin to rege regenerate. Regeneration repairs damage at three hit points per round. This regeneration includes the rebonding of severed members. Uh, the loathsome members of a troll have the ability to fight on even after severed from the body. A troll hand can claw or strangle the head bite, etc. Total dismemberment will not slay a troll, for its parts will slither and scuttle together, rejoin, and the troll will rise whole and ready to continue combat. To kill a troll, the monster must be burned or immersed in acid. Any separate pieces being treated in the same fashion, or they create a whole troll again in 3 to 18 rounds. And a description of a troll hide is a nauseating moss green, mottled green, and gray or putrid gray. The writhing hair-like growth upon a troll's head is greenish black or iron gray. The eyes of a troll are dull black. Trolls are way scary. So let's unpack a little bit. You've got three attacks coming in at this guy for the six plus six hit dice. So he's attacking uh, on a pretty good table. And your damage is one die four plus one die four. Or I'm sorry, four plus one die four. So a die four is going to average two and a half points plus four is going to be six and a half points. So you're going to get six and a half out of the first attack, six and a half out of the second. So that's a total of 13. And you're going to get seven there. So a troll is going to be doing on average about 20 points around if it hits. That's a lot of damage for a six hit dice creature. The fact that it regenerates also is tremendous. And then of course they talk about their great strength. Trolls used to be kind of the be all and end all back in real early days of D&D. If you were fighting a troll or even succeeded in fighting a troll, that was uh, really something to boast about. We allow fire to destroy trolls as well as acid. So if uh, a troll is encountered, what very often what one player in my group will do is they'll immediately start building a fire because they'll count on everybody else to take out the troll and then they'll start throwing little bits and pieces into the fire. They start regenerating three rounds after they've been hit at three points per round. I actually used to always forget to have them regen because three rounds is actually a tough, th tough thing to remember as a DM, so I just changed it that they start to regen after they've been damaged. It's much easier to remember and, frankly, a little tougher for the players. Three points per round may not seem like a lot, but that's 12 points in four rounds. That is considerable. Also, with the advent of... Unearthed Arcana and Weapon Specialization, Trolls became a little less fearsome, so to counter that, I just gave them attack and damage bonuses for their great strength. I give a Troll the same attack and damage bonuses as an Ogre. So plus 3 is attack, plus 6 damage. Because why not? So now we have a guy who's going to be doling out uh, just a ton of damage. Something, let's see, we were around 20 before... Now we're going to be adding 18 to that. So now we're going to be dealing 38 points of damage in a round if he hits on all attacks. And that's going to be your average damage. Trolls are really scary. Trolls are quite a challenge for party, say, around 6th to 7th level. They're lethal, in my opinion, to a party of 5th or less. I wouldn't throw a troll in. If I did throw a troll in, I'd make sure it was a good-sized party and I'd only throw one. Even at that, I know I'm going to take some hit points off the party with this monster. At higher levels, of course, trolls are dangerous if you throw the 1 to 12, or as I do, I just decide how many are going to be there usually. 
uh, when you have trolls outnumber the players, if there are six players and there are eight trolls, for instance, you're going to tear off a lot of hit points and you're going to use up a lot of consumable resources from the party, such as potions of healing or potions that grant other temporary abilities like speed or giant strength or anything like that. The party's going to use those up in a, a troll encounter of that uh, size. You're also going to be dealing with trolls in my game, you're going to see them 10th, 11th, 12th level, and maybe even a little higher. They're great distraction monsters. It's a threat you really can't just turn your back on to concentrate on the big bad evil guy. You have to honor the threat the trolls pose. Even if you're a 14th level fighter, you still have to honor the three trolls that are coming in to attack you in addition to the big bad evil guy. You can't just leave those guys alone. So trolls can be quite powerful. There are a bunch of different styles of trolls, of course. Uh, lots of trolls were added to the game in the last 40 plus years uh, and I use them I use cave trolls I use mountain trolls jungle trolls undersea trolls you name it I use it I love these monsters they're one of my favorites there are also I do war trolls which is essentially this same troll write up except their hit dice are going to be anywhere between 10 and 12 dice that again is a nice challenge for a higher level party if the party is really strong because I have some guys that have been uh, floating around my Greyhawk world for over 40 years, so I have many strong characters, and occasionally players want to take them out. And if I were to use a troll or a war troll against them, I definitely increase the hit dice to give the war troll something else to do, and I increase the damage that they do. I'll change this 5 to 8, 5 to 8, I'll change that to something like a, maybe a 9 to 12, and I'll make the 2 to 12 here maybe 4 to 24. So I will beef up the damage. I will continue doing the strength. I've even gone with the War Troll. I've gone ahead and given them plus 3, plus 8, with the equivalent of a 20 strength, because they're big War Trolls and that kind of thing. Lord of the Rings, uh, the after the first uh, Fellowship of the Rings in 2001, believe me, Trolls saw my table a lot. That was a really exciting depiction of the Trolls in Valen's tomb, and uh, I got pretty excited about them, and, and they were popping up here and there for a while after that. But there you have it. A troll is a friendly, friendly monster. Oh, one other quick thing. I do allow trolls if, say, for instance, there's a severed arm. 3 to 18 rounds later, I do let that sprout into a full troll. Just because it's kind of neat. So if you got that guy with a sword of sharpness, he might want to change weapons. Lest he uh, cut off body parts and make the trolls even more dangerous. Also, a quick incidental, I've had players argue that the troll... Getting hit by the sword would scatter different pieces and blood and things, and those should all grow into trolls. I don't play it that way. It has to be a, a sizable body chunk, an arm or a leg or the head, for me to really care. But that's just at my table. But that's all I've got to say today on page 121. That's it for our good friend, the trolls. I, I hope you meet them soon, and I hope you have your weapons ready. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.